Welcome back to Freestyle Friday. Of course, this is Why in the Morning. Thank you so much for staying with us. You can find us on social media at y 2 channel. Get on the hashtag on Twitter at Why in the Morning. And on Facebook, we are we are at y 2 TV. So get there. Do leave us your comment. What do you want us to play for you? And we'll be sorting that for you. And since it's Freestyle Friday, we have to have a guest come through. And it's Trap Friday. It's Trap Friday, yes. So I have a guest in the studio and he came all the way from Niger. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing too? I'm great. And you're Zima. You know Zima is a Swahili word. What's the relation? <laughs> Zima has another meaning in, in Nigeria. Tell What's us about it? that. Uh, Zima is from the word Spespe Zima and mm -hmm. Spespe Zima was given, it's a nickname that was given to me right. while I was in secondary school mm -hmm. due to how I used to make sure my clothes and everything uh -huh. is nice. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome, welcome to Y2F4. This is your first time, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, so tell us about you, uh, you. I don't know, do you reside here or are you based in Nigeria? How is it? I, I based in Nigeria. Mm. I, I only come here for, for vacation and to work with people like my producer and my video director who are based there so i just come here to come and promote myself right yeah all right so now that you're here who are you currently working with the audio and video producer uh, i work with uh fire one sam mm -hmm. and i i work with uh rich g director rich g all right yeah. all right okay so you're gonna be a bit audible so that uh everybody can actually get to hear you is that okay 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 no problem <laughs> All right, so tell us about your music. How can you describe your style? Is it trap? Is it hip hop? Oh, uh, hip hop. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you can you can also call it a uh, Afro Afro rap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I, I I do my rap in uh in my indigenous language like Yoruba Yoruba language, it's right. called Yoruba. Okay. All right. So um. Now that you're here and you're doing hip hop music, I believe that there's someone who influenced that, maybe growing up or something like that. So sure, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, why, why growing up? I, I listened to to Late Da Green, he's a rapper. Right. And after his death, mm -hmm. I, I, I listened to Olamide and uh, Reminis. Mm -hmm. And listening to them made me to understand the game better. Right. Yeah. And you have a new song. It also has a Swahili name. Kisa. Emma <laughs> <laughs> Kisa. Yes. Tell us about that. Uh, what is the song inspired by? Uh, when I recorded the song, it was this Shaku Shaku dance. I, I hope yeah. you know Shaku Shaku dance. I know Shaku Shaku. So <laughs> you'll be doing that for us sometime. Okay, no, no You're problem, right? No <laughs> Later on. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, it was Shaku Shaku dance that inspired the song. I, I did Kisa just to do some Shaku Shaku song for my fans because right. they, need, they need to dance. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw the video. I like the video so much. Was it shot right here? And who yes, shot yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. It was yeah. shot by director Rich G. Right. Yeah, here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why do you think it's important for artists to actually invest in the videos? Because we've seen like some people, you have a nice song and then you don't like invest in the video. So some people, you don't get, sometimes you don't get airplay, even if the song is nice. But your video, I thought it was like really good. Why do you think it's important for an artist to do that? If you have a nice song, <laughs> I, I think you, you also need to, to do some visual. They, they need to see what the, as they're listening to the song, mm -hmm. they also need something to like to see, yeah. like to just to make the song, like to demonstrate the song mm -hmm. better. So as they are enjoying the sound, they also need to enjoy some good visual. <laughs> yeah. So that's why it's very important. Great. And now that we're talking about Kisa, I'm interested about the writing process. Now that you just, how does that happen? Like you're just chilling at home or you're in the studio. Take uh, us through the process. I was in, <laughs> in the studio with, with my producer. It mm -hmm. was uh, Spike that, right. that produced Kisa. Mm -hmm. He's a Nigerian who is based there. He has a family Best here. in Nairobi. Yeah. Right. We were just chilling indoor and he played some, some beats. And when it got to the beat of Kisa, I, I was like, wait, wait, I, I like this beat. Let's right. let's do some shaku shaku. So you like beat. freestyle on it? Yeah, I was just freestyling because the beat is a dance song. The beat alone itself is something you can dance to. So <laughs> when I was listening to the beats, I, I was like, uh, what can I do to this beat? Right. Then I, I started from Emma Jokisa. Emma Jokisa means you will dance, like mm -hmm. you dance seriously. Mm -hmm. So I just started from 
Yeah. Am I joking, sir? Am I joking, sir? Am I joking, sir? And, and that was through. how, yeah, yeah, that was <laughs> how everything happened. All right, that's amazing. So, um, how can you? What do you think is actually how different actually is the Kenyan music compared to Nigerian music, according to you? Uh, to me, music is music. It's, it's <laughs> not about the sound. It's it's not about the language. Mm. Music is just music. Right. So I I can't say Kenyan music is really different. If, if it is different, then yeah. I'm not supposed to be here doing music, trying to promote myself here. Mm. I just believe good music is just good music. Good music is good music. Yeah. I'm talking about Kenyan music. Are you looking to working with any Kenyan artist so far? Is there someone you've identified, or yeah 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because I, I do listen to Kenya music a lot and I, I right. know a lot of talented artists here too and I'm mm -hmm. I'm planning to work with uh Calligraph Jones. Oh yeah. amazing. That's a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great choice. That's a very great choice. And you had an event recently. Yeah. Tell us about that. How was it? Like performing in front of the audience? Did people turn up? Tell us about the yeah, whole experience. It was it was a very <laughs> crazy show. Like a lot of people came out to, mm -hmm. to support and I, I appreciate that. The show was <laughs> It was massive and dope. Mm. Yeah. All right, so what are some of the challenges? You as a Nigerian artist, but you're here in Kenya. What are the, some of the challenges like you face while in Kenya? Or maybe just across, what are some of the challenges you face as an artist? Uh, well, I, I, I can't really call it uh, a challenge, mm -hmm. but uh, at least I, I met some people who, because of uh, my language, mm -hmm. I, I met some people who, who were like, uh, what, what are you saying? We don't understand your language. But to me... <laughs> oh, language barrier. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But to me, I, I can't really call it a challenge. It's <laughs> because music music is just music. Like yeah. I said before, you don't have to understand my language before you feel my vibe. Right. It's, true, it's all about true. the sound. That's true, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's the, apart from that, I don't think there's any... All right. 